he is going to be starting with Squirtle. I think the best thing Squirtle can probably do is probably space backers, like try to do like raw backers mm. to see what happens. But like, I don't see Squirtle getting a lot of grabs in a matchup like this. Yeah, but like, for instance, yeah, rising. See, there you go, oh, <laughs> backer, yeah. and it got punished immediately. Yeah. Okay, but some solid damage. Squirtle. Oh, what was that? How did he fall out? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's like a strict. All right, so the hitbox is huge and small at the same time. I think. At the bottom of it, it's small, but at the top, is very huge. So he probably just slipped right past. Oh, there goes the stock. Wow, we were saying how Ivysaur should be good in that in the matchup, but Ivysaur, the problem with the character, he can get trapped in the corner, and Cody took advantage of that brutally. Yeah, both Ivysaur and Charizard struggle at the ledge. Okay, looking for the down smash. It's going to be the reverse hit of it, so Cody survives. And because he's surviving, Yes, is, what kind of turnip is that? Okay, it's just normal turnip. Yeah. Um, yeah, because he survives, Squirtle kind of struggles to get kills. And uh, good evasion on that water gun. That would have been really dangerous. Also, <laughs> and good evasion with that up B. The fact that she can dip that parasol in and out means it's trickier to hit her than you'd think. Yeah. I can see a lot of turnip play. Ooh, ooh. Still living. I can see a lot of turnip play versus Ivysaur in particular, because if Ivysaur grabs uh, her turnip, Ivysaur doesn't really get much out of it because he has an item in hand. And he wants to have access to his aerials, because his aerials are really good. Speaking of items, I think Saturn is still on stage. Ooh, back air, another back air. Ooh. Gotta watch those high recoveries, because Charizard's back air has a swoop hitbox to it, where it goes horizontal, but then it swoops upwards. So you gotta be careful of that. That's where the tipper is. I've seen too many Peach players <laughs> double jump in disadvantage and die at 50. All right, but back fun. here. Yeah, gonna be closing that stock again, taken in the corner. Yeah. It, it seems like if you're Noku, you know, if you're going to reevaluate, if you, if you lose this game, which, not saying it's gonna happen, but it's looking like it's in the cards for now. Um, yeah, you need to find ways to get out of the corner. Another good thing, too, is that Peach can actually box with Squirtle, which is something that you don't really see. A lot of characters... Ooh, nice up B. An another thing is, like, a lot of characters in this game struggle to box with Squirtle. Like, usually when you play against Squirtle, you want to play an anti-grab game. You might want to platform camp. You might want to just evade him in general, because once he gets close to you, it's kind of dangerous. It's similar to Pikachu. What's the ledge trap here? Ooh, nice reversal. That's the third up B he's got while he's at the ledge. Yeah. I mean, I think that's that's good because we were just talking about how he's been dying at the ledge. And uh, at least having that potential to reversal is really big. But as it stands, 163%. Oh, that's my it. God, no way. That's it. Oh, oh. he's still living. Good DI. Nice. Oh, that tilt. tilt. Jump. And no jump on Charizard either. He has a reset. Yeah, that was such good stalling from Cody. And now he's back with the advantageous position. But can he actually close out the stock? We've seen already how threatening this Charizard is. Another F tilt putting him at the ledge. Can he actually find the kill, though? Charizard can do it. He has to just. It's that one hit, and there it is. Ooh, no! Still living? <gasps> yeah, he got up smashed at like 89. That's it. Fourth row. Definitely it. Yeah. Max Rage Charizard, definitely. And it was like we were talking about before this started. Survivability with Charizard with his saving grace. He just did not die. And the character has such comeback potential because of how strong his moves are, especially when stacked with rage. Yeah. I don't like other heavies. Like, Charizard has that luxury of having extra jumps, which is very good. Like, Day-to-Day yeah. -day has it, but with Day-to-Day, -day, he has bad airspeed. So yeah, the thing so with the worst are, in the game, I think. Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah, it's probably the worst. I, yeah, I think it's the worst. Yeah, definitely. It's like him or Luigi. Yeah. But Charizard, he can kind of drift around. Yeah. Plus, he has hitboxes that actually like hit around him. Okay. Ooh. Now, you know, we were talking about how Noku needed to fix his uh his disadvantage state. That's exactly what he did. Now let's see what his advantage stage is like here. Oh, Ooh. that was, I like the idea behind that grab, but Cody able to roll out of it, just anticipating it. Oh, nice forward smash. 
Yeah, that's kind of what we called the Noku back in the day. He relies on it a little bit less now, but, you know, he still gets those forward smash kills when you're trapped at the ledge for sure. All right, so you see the ledge trap here. Is he going to jump? He jumps. Oh. <laughs> It's very strong with, with Charizard because of the different reversals he has. Like, if he crosses you up, he can back air you. Um, he can also land with neutral air. He can also just retreat and use Flare Blitz to get to the other side of the stage. And, I mean, Jose kind of jumps at a highish. Like, I was going to say, how do you punish that jump as Peach? You can't necessarily do it that, like, or you can't punish him really hard for doing that. Yeah, you probably have to, like, reset him with up airs because that's her long-lasting move. Fair, like, although it's very strong, it only covers one spot. So you have to be really on point with that edge guard. Oh. Yeah, no float. One. No okay. float, no jump. Okay. Has to rely on up B. That should nice be nice. Yeah. Oh, I call that the quid. Because I, I think quid was, like, the first one to really incorporate Nair edge guards. Because when Pokemon Trainer first came out in Ultimate, everyone was doing down air with Ivysaur, which was great, until it got nerfed. And then they had to find out different ways to, like, edge guard. But then I started to see Quid do, like, Nair and, like, different reversals with Vine Whip cancels into Nair. Cody, you're not doing so bad. He needs to get this stock. But, like you said earlier, Charizard survivability. Yeah, but at least he's not taking damage. Oh, right as I say that. Oh, why would I say anything? Commentator's curse. Uh, okay, in my defense, he didn't take that much damage. Yeah. He only got hit twice. I mean, <laughs> if you get back throwed at 30 with max rage Charizard. Yeah. Like, it's a weird mindset to have. But when you're at, I call it like the 20% to like 40% range. If you're around that percent, just play an anti-grab game versus Charizard. Just don't even get – like, if you get hit, fine. It, like, if I get hit with a forward tilt, that's fine. But, like, don't get grabbed. Yeah, if anything, if you get hit by a forward tilt, now you might be outside of the range yeah. of uh, back to the back air. It's a similar way of, of, like, how people take damage versus Luigi. Like, you just want to get out of the range. Ooh, here comes the ledge trap. 98%. Oh, yeah, and you see the fact that that neutral air is so long-lasting. Oh, and it combos reliably. It's everything that Noku needs in this matchup. Good spot dodge. Yeah, recognizing that uh, at this percentage, that grab is going to yield uh, Noku quite a bit. And turn up in hand, like you said before, kind of messing with his ability to throw out aerials the way that he wanted to. Ooh. And I don't think he was expecting to be sent at that particular angle. Yeah, I think he was expecting to be sent out. That's really good, though, for Peach, just to have that, because a lot of characters can't really challenge uh, Charizard's up B. Especially because it does have armor on it. Yeah, it has armor on the start. And, like, the multiple hitboxes can be kind of funky versus other uh, edge guards. Yeah, and now we haven't seen Cody with a lead in a while. Let's see how much he can, what he can actually do with it. Because Peach is not a character that can necessarily camp people out that well. I mean, the way she, I feel like the way that Peach camps is by just floating at the right spot. Also. Turn up. <laughs> yeah, it, if you watch Ling, it's like, oh, I have the stock lead. Let me just turn up. Go to platform, turn up. Farm, turn up. Oh, I got a stitch. Because that's really good. Like, having the lead is amazing with Peach because you get the turnip farm. And when you turn a farm, you get the chances of getting something good. And, I mean, even a base turnip, is, you saw what it did right there. All yeah. of this damage and the down smash at the ledge, despite the fact that that's a kind of notoriously weak smash attack, uh, it's enough to do it. Cody giving me flashbacks of Brawl. These mm. insta tosses looking like Diddy Kong. <laughs> Look at that. Good switch, though. All right. Oh, the parasol. Yeah, a lot of people forget that it has an active hitbox whenever she does the parasol. It does like three percent. Can she lead? Can she combo into it with anything? If she like no. grabs the ledge, no. 
In melee, she could. That was the right. armada. Right, right. <laughs> Up B, cancel, 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 down smash. <laughs> Oh, that was really good staying close to the ground like that. Managed to dodge that Razor Leaf. Yeah. And good shield discipline as well because Ivasaur can't upbeat that much at the ledge. Eventually, he's going to have to get off. Oh, misses the grab. That would have been huge. Yeah, he Dash needs attack. To oh. Four throw. Not enough to kill, but he's off stage right now at 163. Like you mentioned, dash attack will kill. Down air. Down air, yeah. Wow, move. Okay. It has it has good uh, knockback growth on it. Yeah, a lot of multi-hit moves kind of do. Yeah. It's like amazing for comboing at early percents. Well, it's one of those moves that has low base knockback, high knockback growth. Yeah. So at lower percents, it can combo. Then at higher percents, it can kill. Those kind of moves, they, it's like you got best of both worlds. Yeah. All right. Game four. Now we saw, you know, in the set you just played, it went to game five. Yeah. We saw that turnaround. Bobo almost made the reverse 3 0 happen. I wonder if we're going to see something similar here, Rack. Now that Cody has a single game on the board, can he take that momentum and really swing with it? Remains to be seen, but as of right now, he's doing pretty good. 39% on Squirtle. Not bad. I think if Cody wants to make a reverse 3 0, he just has to avoid Charizard's traps. That was the main thing that got him game one and game two. Yeah, and I mean, not only was he avoiding the traps, but he was killing Charizard. Yeah. When you don't kill Charizard, you put yourself at, there is more time that you can get hit by the Charizard nonsense. Yeah, there's certain characters in this game where if you don't kill them, not even just the heavy characters, some characters like Shulk, if you don't kill them in time, eventually they're just gonna kill you. Okay, and here is the Charizard. Yeah, he's looking for that back air. <laughs> oh, and he jumps into that side B. I like floating at that height. We were mentioning before how he would jump and get away with it. Yeah. But floating right there, that's the exact answer that he needed. Yeah. Good forward throw. Oh, water gun pushing off. Yep, Whoa, that nice. is a really good edge guard. Got the water gun switch into Vine Whip. All right, and with evening up the stock count, now there's some momentum for Noku, and these up airs into up air into, I like that float, prevented yeah. the, the uh, just falling into another string of up airs. Ooh, good down tilt, that's frame four. Oh, oh, that was a two frame. Really? Yeah, that was actually a two frame. I saw the grab. Wow, yeah, that down here, it's not that long lasting, is it? It's it got nerfed, but it's still really good. It got nerfed in its size, but the frame data is about the same. Okay, forward smash putting Noku off stage. Ah, but the reversal. Okay, good side B. Good. Didn't fall for that. Very strong hits though. 87%, 101, and against Charizard specifically. This is a terrible situation. Up smash will do it. A back throw at the ledge will probably Ooh. do it as well, but that's a really huge pickup. Yeah, caught the jump this time. Now Peach with a turn up in hand. Yeah, I'm surprised he's sticking with Squirtle. I guess he wants to like get a single hit in before switching. A lot of Pokemon trainers, they wait until they have the stage positioning. Like now we're gonna see him switch to the Ivysaur. Okay, doesn't go for the forward smash this time. Hold on. Ooh. Oh. Nice. But that you saw he went deep for that edge guard. That's because he knows he needs to make a play. Don't get F tilted. Or a back air. Or up smashed. Or grab. Or oh. Oh. Hold on a second. That up B seriously costing Noku. He's at 87 right now. This is really <laughs> this is starting to get scary for him, especially now that he's at the ledge. <laughs> Oh, down tilt into four there. 119. Oh, caught the jump. And oh. that's, what a comeback. Wow. 
Was that a three stock to one comeback? Was that it? was a three to one stock that comeback. That was a three to one stock comeback. Yeah. That is rare to see. It's so hard just with the nature of ultimate to make a comeback like that happen, especially against Zard. Against Zard, yeah. Wow, Cody. I, I think the biggest thing too is like, um, in a lot of situations when it's like last stock, last hit, people play very antsy. I don't care how good you are. I've seen the best players in the world play, uh, unless you're like MK Leo, but like I've seen like some of the best players play very antsy, like, oh, I gotta get this skill. I don't wanna die. I gotta get this skill. I don't wanna die. And it's like you have two sides to the coin and eventually like you might pick a panic option. I think that's when Noku picked that jump. So Cody has another chance to get a reverse 3-0. Yeah, well, oh my Ooh. god. Okay. What's the combo here? Oh, caught the jump. Nice grab. Yeah, that up B, it's not enough to do it just quite yet. Yeah, it's not gonna combo anymore, so he has to like call her out on a float. Yeah, and I'm liking this, the fact that Cody is respecting Noku's ability to edge guard, he's stalling a little bit more off stage, just trying to really choose when he is going to go to the ledge. Oh, drifted into that forwarder. Got to be careful of that. The up B timings have cleaned up quite a bit, but... Oh. Regrab. Yeah, and Peach's double jump is so slow. Yeah. Uh, a common issue that Peach always had since Melee is that she had a hard time getting off ledge. Grab, four throw. He's going to find a way to actually convert it into a stock. Great weight. Just punishing that spot dodge. And oh, spot Ooh. dodging his own. There's, they're just spot dodging in each like other's brawl. faces. Yeah. Oh, nice punish on the nair. That's a hard move to punish, yeah. Oh, I love that, the tomahawk grab. The fact that Peach can use her float to get back down to the ground quickly. She is uniquely poised to get those kind of openings. And now 37% on Cody. This is a fine, perfectly okay position for him to be in. Okay, water gun. Didn't get the water gun, but still got the pick up with Ivasaur. Oh, nice drift back. Okay, down tilt. Oh, Ooh, got <gasps> the jab lock. Yeah. I didn't know her Nair can jab lock. I think it's the late hit of it. The late the hit, jab yeah. Locks. I think that's another one of those moves. Low base knockback, high knockback growth. Yeah. Nice. Big damage. This is actually very similar to what we saw in that, I think it was game three. He just comboed Charizard, put him into the side of the stage, and then killed him. And oh, that is, could that have been DI'd a little better, maybe? Or was he just dead? He was probably holding in. Noku jumping out of the corner once more. <laughs> nice jab. That's something that a lot of Charizards don't do. And also it's good because it waits out spot dodge, yeah. which Cody has been doing a lot more of now. He needs to find a way to actually close out this Zard stock. <gasps> Ooh, oh, <wow. laughs> the back throw. Ooh, misses the turn up. Oh, got hit by the lingering hit of Nair. Gets the back air. See what Peach can do. I mean, last game he came back from a significantly worse position than this. But as Noku sort of in a month, yeah, okay, that's going to do yeah. it. Yeah, caught the down air. We all got him with the down air. Yeah. <laughs> well, Cody caught that down air. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> 